Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my playthrough of Morrowind. Now, we have cleared most of Armed Fand, <laughs> however you pronounce it. Uh, we're going to peek into this deep ore passage. Technically speaking, we have what we came here for. But honestly, a lot of what I came here for is to kick some Centurion ass. So let's go ahead and uh, keep keep doing it. Uh, it appears as though I'm low on, on Magicka. So I need to keep that in mind as I proceed. Come on! Cast on me! Give me more Magicka! And, uh... Well, that went down pretty quick. Man, it is so loud in here. It's because we got this big-ass engine going. I cannot help but think that uh, my guy would be coming out here with some uh, some hearing damage after all that. Oh, a diamond. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to pop Night Eye, aren't I? Alright, what's it got? A bunch of Dwemer Cogs. Rusty Dwemer Cogs at that. Oh, there's a little passage back there. First, I'm going to look in here and make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Ain't nothing I'm missing that I see. And you know what? i got to wait for that uh, skeleton to expire. And then I will go ahead and earn myself some more Magicka. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. I really should have done this before I started recording. Alright, well, I'm full up. Uh, my ghost is going to keep tagging me in the back of the skull while I walk forward. But that's alright. Oh, nice. Some sort of machine works back here. I'm hoping this is worth my while coming down here. That's all I can say. It's like I gotta figure out how to get up there, don't I? Let's pop night on it. God damn it. Let me cast. Alright. Well, we got a uh, spider. Ow. Come on. Okay, theoretically I should be able to get up there, but uh, we'll wait and explore down here first. Oh crap, we got somebody coming. Go ahead and get one of them up, and um, oh, it's a it's a it's a Dwemer Spectre. So give me a minute. Got to switch to a magic weapon, don't I? Yeah, let's equip my weapon. Is it the right one? Yeah, it's the right one. Let's go ahead and get run up. Gotta basically hit this thing quick and hard. Own it as fast as possible. Okay. I'm reluctant to loot too much ectoplasm. But at the same time, I probably should. I feel like I want to see what's on top of that. Is there anything on top of that? Well, who knows? My night eye wore off. Come on, we got another Centurion here. Ow. Yeah, he's uh, hard to hit. Unfortunately, I got my skeleton on him too, don't I? Come on. Didn't have anything on him. We'll continue along. I gotta keep Night Eye up because it is dark in here. It's really dark in here. And it looks like a. See, I would never have known to go down this passage if I didn't have Night Eye up. Oh, we got a Centurion in the water. Okay, now he's coming up. Once again, I'm gonna pop my ancestor, my uh, minion. Except immediately thereafter, I gotta heal up. And then I can... Oh, fuck. The night... Night I wore off. Okay. 
Alright. Let's get into the attack finally. Oh man. I have a feeling I should probably explore the water here, like deep in the water. Do I have a water breathing spell? I should. Yes, I do. For 30 seconds. So I can cast it just as my breath starts to wear down. I'm not seeing anything in the water here. Okay, come on. New! No, New! No. Almost drowned because my water breathing, my uh, whatever the water breathing relies on. Alteration, that's not high enough. Let me get a ghost and uh, pop my uh, my magicka up a little bit before I continue onwards. Alright, I have successfully brought my mana back up to par. And I'm going to walk around with a ghost tagging me in the back of the skull. Casting, I guess, counts as an attack. I'm not seeing anything back here. But I feel kind of like there's a second story to this, isn't there? Like I should be able to get up there. See, I thought that I had, like, levitate or something. I don't know. What the hell is that over there? Is that something I need to worry about? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Like, I need to get up there. But I don't think I have levitate. I need to figure out... Oh, that, that's just, just the... Uh, that's the Dwarven Centurion I killed earlier. Okay, note to self, get a levitate spell as soon as possible. <sighs> I could pop my scroll of Vicarian Flight, I guess, but I really don't want to do that. And levitate should help with the, uh, with the alteration problems I'm having. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to get up there without levitate. So, I guess I will see you. I think that's the extent of this area, right? I will see you back in Balmora. Unless I got some sort of secret door back here or something. I don't know. Nope, no secret door. Alright, Balmora it is. Oh, wait, wait, before I get to Balmora, I found a way to climb up here. And, oh, holy crap, I'm almost dead. I am almost dead. Fuck. Am I going to be able to even heal myself fast enough? And you know what? I had levitate. I had a levitate potion. So, you know what? Seriously, I'm out of I'm out of restore health. I am seriously out of restore health. Well, that's not nice. Okay, thank God. Managed to get it just in time. Tell you what, so let's explore whatever's back here. We will actually do a finish exploring this place after all. Ah, let me get up there. Let me get up here. Come on. God damn it. Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Quick saving. And, um... This chest has... Nothing. Like, nothing I need. I'm gonna take one last look up here. Don't think there's anything up there. And we will uh, check out um, that second floor over there then, since we do have a levitate potion. I totally forgot about that. 
Okay, uh, I'm here. So what I'm gonna do is I guess I'm gonna fly all the way to the top. Or as close to the top as I can, but we need to take care of this thing first. Come on, stop attacking me, man. I don't boosted my heavy armor. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try to get up to that third level there. Rising force potion. Drink. And one, two, three, four. Am I gonna make it? Five. Fucking A. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Am I? I'm, I'm hung up on shit. I'm hung up on shit. Oh, this is a lot longer than five seconds. I keep getting hung up on shit. Let's go all the way to the top, and then we'll work our way back down. Okay. So I didn't get all the way to the top. Fuck. But that's okay, because... Hold on. Okay, I thought it hurt. Am I in combat? Yeah, I think I've aggroed something up top. Eh, let's go ahead and get Night Eye up. There was a chest back there. Which I will look at shortly. Alright, chest should be around the corner here. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Once again, save the game and then look into it. Ah, no, it's casting on me. Ash salt. Eh. Eh. That's all I have to say about that. Let's jump down here. Boom. Oh, crap. A uh, Dwemer skeleton. Or a Dwemer uh, specter. Come on. Yeah. If I had levitate, this, this would not be an issue. I may have to come back here at some point when I do get levitate, but I doubt it's going to be necessary. Holy crap, he's kicking my ass. Okay. Come on. Die already, man. Boom. Alright. Go ahead and get Night Eye up and hope there was something worth coming up here for. Oh, so I can get to the next one down from here. Alright. So ideally, I really should have gone and just, just bit the bullet and gone all the way up to the top. I make sure there's nothing over here I'm leaving behind before I go down. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head on down. And this should be, like, the last area, right? I'm on top of a pipe. Oh, wait, is this the very bottom? No, this is where that uh, engine is. I'm not seeing anything worthwhile up here. Fuck, did I just, uh... You know, I bet there's something on the very top, but I'm out of, I'm out of levitate, so... Fuck that shit. Well, now I'll meet you in Balmora. Explore this place about as thoroughly as I can. You know what? I think I've come across an area I haven't explored yet. Or if I have, I missed some things. No, I haven't been in here yet. This is Cells of the Hollowed Hand. I found it on the way out. Um, I think it's one of the doors I exposed in the last episode and decided against exploring at the time. And I am really low on Magicka. I do not need to use a magic weapon on this guy. 
Alright, well, let's see if there's anything in here worth looting. Uh, Sujama and Masty. Oh, there's gold. Dwemer coins. Travel lantern, bullseye. Okay. Apprentice armor's hammer. Rusty Dwemer cog. Uh, a Dwemer tube. I got no idea what I need that for. Got a book down here, a Dance and Fire, which uh, gives me my acrobat skill. So it's pretty good so far, actually. It was like almost worth. It was like definitely worth coming in here for, because I can sell that book for quite a bit. And I will show you which door I took to get in here. Just give me one minute. And more gold. Like actual gold. Okay. Ah. Uh, remember in the prior episode when I fought that one guy in... Um, there was like a table there with candles on it. And then there was that cave in. And, you know, there's that other thing with candles. And I came out here and I skipped that and I went right to the end. Well, if I'd gone in there, that's where I was. That's where I just was. I've got a light source now. Yay! I don't have to rely on Night Eye. Alright, I'll see you when I get back in Balmora now. For real this time. Alright, I am back in Balmora. Now, I did stop on the way back in the uh, Imperial Fort to sell off pretty much everything except for the Dwemer Spear and the, D the Dwemer Halberd I have, rather and the uh, Dwemer coins which I uh, they actually wouldn't buy the Dwemer coins so uh, I will figure that out uh, later on but for now I'm gonna go ahead and well, turn this quest in kinda get a little bit further along the main quest see what else this guy has to offer me come on ah welcome what may I do for you so, have you done that little favor I asked? Yes, I have. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Just let me take this Dwemer puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius would will want to know about the Sixth House. And about the Nerevarine. By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be directions for set, for getting a, a set, for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you've delivered your report back to Caius, come back and maybe I'll have a key you can take back to Arnthank. Except I already unlocked that door, so, uh, yeah. Although I may just uh, go ahead and go there again anyway, in between episodes, just to see if there's anything on that top floor. Okay, sixth house. House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. In the first stage, House Dagoth b betrayed the, the great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll... Ha also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some sixth house references he should. All right, uh, let's ask him about those references. Here's a list, list of books. All of them will tell you something about the sixth house and how it ended. The War of the First Council, Saint Nerevar, Nerevar Moon and Star, and the Real Nerevar. Good luck finding them, though. The recent events have made them hard to come by. House Dagoth. House Dagoth was the sixth of the seven Dunmer Great Houses. Nothing remains of the sixth house. Its members were all slain or adopted into other great houses following their treason in the War of the First Council. Their clanstead was called uh, Korgorun. Alright, well let's talk about the Nerevarine. The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerevar will unite the Dunmer against the outland invaders and restore the ancient Dark Elven nation. Nerevar is a legendary hero and saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy and persecutes heretics who believe in the Nerevarine. Tell Caius that Sharn and Gra Mazgab would be a better person to ask about their native faiths and superstitions. So I gotta assume that is an individual, like a, it sounds like an orc. Uh, so I'll go ahead and report back to Caius. On the way out I'll see if I can't grab any uh, apprentice uh, Hammers just to go ahead and uh, repair my shit with. Are you wounded? You should find a healer. Nope. 
All right. Before I head on out and uh, get that done, I stop by the Major Guild. I'm going to pick up Levitate because it's just that awesome. And um, that shield that that guy had looks like something I would like. So even though it's expensive, I'll go ahead and pick it up. And um, I think that's about it. Is there something you need? All right. Well, I will be. Uh, I will be back when I talk to Caius then. All right, I am at the house of Caius Cosades. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk about our orders. These notes are from Hasfat Anatoblis. Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. I'll look them over in more detail later, but for now I have some new orders for you. I've glanced at Hasfat Anatoblis' Anat notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Nereverine Nerev cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Mages Guild. It's right next to the Balmora Fighters Guild. Get Sharn Grandma's Gob to tell you what she knows about the Nerevrian. Oh, that's that orc in the in the basement. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks and report back what she, when she's giving you the information. I will, but first I'm going to uh, go ahead and take a nap in my boss's house. My boss, who happens to be a shirtless moon sugar addict. I don't know if I should sleep here. Should I sleep here? Yeah, let's sleep here. Alright. Resting here is illegal. Fuck! I'll uh, rest in his bed then. I have ascended to level 7. Looks like I boosted my strength by 3, my endurance by 2, and my luck by 1. I'm not doing great on the whole endurance thing. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? Omnipotent. Omniscient. Sovereign. <laughs> Immutable. How sweet it is to be a god. Okay. Well, hello. Man. A pleasure to meet you. My journal has been updated. I had a disturbing dream. I can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led me amongst the dead as, though, as through a wedding celebration. I heard many voices, but no lips moved. I strained to breathe, but my chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed amongst them, laughing and joking, as if they were alive. He said, Omnipotent, omniscient, sovereign, immutable, how sweet it is to be a god. I tried to cry out, but without breath, my tongue fluttered in vain. That was kind of messed up. Alright, I'm going to quietly go over to uh, the Mages Guild and pick up my next quest, and then I'll probably be uh, done for this episode. Okay, on my way across, I just got interrupted by somebody. I am a sleeper, one amongst thousands. I bring you a message. Dagathur calls you, RPG Crawler, and you cannot deny your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. Who is Dagathor? He is the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Noah. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. Sixth house. The sixth house, the sleeping house, house Dagoth. House of Lord Dagoth, the true house, the one house to welcome all true Dunmer, and drive Inwa from the land. Take heed, outlander. The day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, this will there will be no place for you. Okay, that was somewhat disturbing, but uh and Lord Dagoth is it. Okay, there's creepy cultists walking around. And into the Mages Guild. Alright. Jumping down the ramp. Here is, uh, what's her face? Sharn uh, Grandma's Gob. No! No interruptions! How many times? Oh, you're one of Caius' associates? That is a different manner. Caius and I have a very satisfactory agreement. 
and I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. This errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Luvial Androno. You'll find it in the Androno ancestral tomb, but take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some peculiar primitive prejudice against, against necromancy and take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. The tomb is south of Pelagia, just off the road, just before you reach the fork where the road goes southwest towards Sedanine and southeast to Vivek. You need an enchant you may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons here. Take this old short sword. And maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Okay, I've already got an enchanted blade, but that'll work. And who was Lavilial Androno? He was no one special. A journeyman enchanter. There may be there may be more skulls in Androno tomb, but you'll have no problem recognizing Luval's skull from the ritual markings. Okay. In the Empire, necromancy is a legitimate discipline, though body and spirit are protected property and may not be used without permission of the owner. But in Morrowind, the Dunmer loathe necromancers and put them to death. That's absurd, of course, since the Dunmer summon their own dead to guard tombs and defend the family. Sacred necromancy is righteous, while philo philosophical necromancy is evil. It's primitive superstition, that's all. Alright, so I've got a new quest. I've got to go back towards Sedanine and investigate an ancestral tomb. And there's a couple other places down near Sedanine I may take a look at while I'm down there. But for now, um, I believe that that's going to be enough. This has been the RPG Crawler with The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. If you like what you've seen, remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more of this and other role-playing games. Until next time, take care and goodbye.